So this question is a diagram question. We have these two lines, M and N. They look like they're parallel, but we'll have to read to see if that's the case. And then we have these angles and their, their uh, relationships. Um, regardless of parallel or not, for sure, X and Y are equal to each other. So I'm going to just write that X degrees is congruent to Y degrees because of um, vertex angles is the rule there. Um, let's read the rest of the question and see what else we can figure out about these angles. So the question says, in the figure lines, M and N are parallel, so they actually are parallel, which means that even without reading anymore, I know that Y plus Z is 180 because same side interior angles are supplementary. Um, so that's good to know. Um, so in the figure lines, M and N are parallel. If X equals 6K plus 13 and Y equals 8K minus 29, what is the value of Z? Okay, so very interesting. All right, so then because I know that X equals Y, then I can say that 6K plus 13 is equal to 8K minus 29. Now I can combine like terms here. I'm going to subtract 8K from both sides, subtract 13 from both sides. In doing so, 6K minus 8K is negative 2K. This is gone. This is gone. Negative 29 minus 13 is negative 42. Divide by negative 2 on both sides. And I end up with K is equal to positive 21. So that's my K value. Um, but then what do I care about? So what is the value of Z? Well, if my K value is 21, and I know that Y plus Z is 180, and I know that Y is 8K minus 29, then I would say 8K minus 29 plus Z is equal to 180, right? I'm just replacing, taking this, going here, replacing Y with what we were told Y actually equals here. And now again, because I know the K is 21, this turns into 8 times 21 minus 29 plus Z equals 180. 21 times 8 is 168, so 168 minus 29 plus Z equals 180. 168 minus 29 is 139. Let's just go, let's go over here for space. So I have 139 plus Z equals 180. Of course, I subtract 139 from both sides there and I end up with Z is equal to 41, and therefore the correct answer here is choice C.